Let's go. Hello, everyone. My name is Cormac, and I'm the CEO of DevAlly. We make digital products usable for people with disabilities. Today, 97% of the web is inaccessible for people with disabilities. Let me show you a quick example. So this sentence contains a link. But if I asked you to click the link, would you know where to click? No. How about now? This is a very simple fix for a poorly designed digital experience, one designed without accessibility in mind for someone with color blindness. But color blindness is just one of many different types of disability that 1.3 billion people face globally. In seven months, the European Accessibility Act will mandate that your digital products and services must be accessibility compliant in order to do business in Europe. What GDPR did for data protection, this act will do for accessibility. But here's the thing. Building accessible products is brutal. For one, it's incredibly expensive, and audits can cost anything from 25 to 100 grand per audit. Two, it's inefficient. 80% of accessibility testing still requires some form of manual review. And three, it's difficult. Retrofitting accessibility into an existing product can increase the overall development time by 40%. I know this pain firsthand because it took me and my team of five dedicated engineers three months to retrofit just one product for accessibility. It's kind of like trying to add chocolate chips into cookies after you've already baked them. But with DevAlly, we make building accessible products easy. Our automated reporting tools detect accessibility issues in your products in real time, right where you build. Then we leverage AI to fix these issues in your code with clear guidance and actionable steps. And finally, we integrate seamlessly into the leading project management and development tools to help streamline your workflow. So you can go from issue detection to remediation and deployment all at the click of a button. The digital accessibility software market is set to explode. It's projected to hit 1 billion by the end of 2029, but that's just on traditional testing tools. Businesses are expected to spend a staggering 22 billion in order to achieve compliance with the European Accessibility Act. We kicked off this whole process by conducting research with accessibility experts and over 60 different enterprises. From there, we created a prioritized backlog of features, and we built an amazing board of advisors. And we've just recently secured two paid design partnerships with Enterprise. But we're not stopping there. We're at Slush. We want to support startups. So you can sign up today for our accessibility center at devally.com. Behind it all is a team purposely built for success. If you can't tell already, I love accessibility. For the last seven years, I've led accessibility compliant product development for companies like United Health Group and JP Morgan Chase. Darren, our CTO, has over 10 years' experience implementing architecture for companies like Shutterstock and SAP. And Patrick, our COO, has led sales and go-to-market functions for companies like LinkedIn, Smartling, and Zendesk. We're looking to raise our pre-seed round by the start of next year to help cement our position as the go-to solution for digital accessibility. But accessibility isn't just about compliance. It's about people. These are real people with real problems. This room is filled with makers, creators, and builders. We all have a responsibility to fix this. So when you're ready to build products that work for everyone, we are your ally. Thank you. Thank you, Cormac, for the great pitch. Hey. Lucas? Super, super cool uh, product. What's on your roadmap for the next six to 12 months? What's your mission? Sure, so we're working with design partners right now, so we're building out parts of our feature sets. But again, we've just launched the Accessibility Center. In June, you've got the European Accessibility Act, so we want to be supporting those startups along that path. And that's really our roadmap for the next while, is supporting all of that new business that we're getting. Hey, Cormac, awesome mission, love that. Um, and thank you for the awesome pitch. What is the willingness to pay for this product? And what helps you to move from a feature to a core workflow in a company? Mm -hmm. And how can you increase budgets for what you can charge for? Yeah. 
So we're seeing it in two different ways. So for enterprise, it, it's becoming a core aspect of how we deliver and ship product. Like I mentioned, my background with United Health Group, accessibility is core as to everything that we would build. We had a huge accessibility team. So having automation that does that as part of it, there's an appetite there for these large businesses, particularly to avoid being sued. The thing that we weren't expecting was for startups to be coming to us and saying, hey, we want to sell to enterprise, and they're making this a prerequisite, similar to how you've seen with like SOC 2. So that's the new in, uh, reason that we've started with this accessibility piece. Yeah. Many thanks for the pitch, Cormac. Um, do you want to stay within the European Accessibility Act as a main use case for your platform, or do you have like a long-term vision of being the compliance platform for anything that is somewhat related to the interface to the customer? We want to be the accessibility standard for the world. Yeah. Really cool stuff, Cormac. Uh, now the um, act is coming soon. You have what, 292 days to act. You need to move fast. What's your plan for bringing the product to the market super fast? Again, so raising that money is going to help us massively to build out that team and get there. But we've already gotten there by working with our design partners. So we're working very closely with accessibility experts to make sure that what we're building actually works. So we're doing that right now, and we're delivering on that piece. And then we'll look to scale that up in terms of building. But everything that we're doing in terms of architecture and building right now is for scale. Right. We still have time for one more question, if you have anything. I think, I think the impact is so clear, your team is clear and, and so forth. I guess like one more question, like you mentioned the 25 to 100K audit, what does your product cost for, for a, like say a corporate like Spotify? So for an enterprise, we start at 42,000, but again, you're displacing the need for those audits on a yearly basis. So it's, it's cost saving them in the long run, plus the efficiency for developers and the wasted time of having to constantly reiterate and redo these features. I, are you gonna hit cash uh, like profitability next year then with so such revenues coming in absolutely yeah thank you folks all right if that's Cheers. it let's give a big round thank you cormac <laughs>